Alexander Surya Jarian Mole on the right hand, Penguin Duck Birthmark. They're impersonating me with telepathy left and right. Don't fall for it. I'm, it's starting to irritate me. But um, uh, yeah, they're doing some hustle that's creeping me out. Um, they're also blocking my live YouTube for some reason, so they're pulling some hustle with that. Um, so maybe they're impersonating me somewhere and doing some hustle. Uh, but one way to keep you grounded, because there's a lot of terrorists involved with this, and they're well, some of them are wealthy and have resources, and they um, uh, keep trying to make people look psychotic who start figuring out stuff. One way to stay grounded is not, implantation's not every, an every guy. An everyday guy's tool. Not an every everyday guys can't afford engineers and physicists to develop something like that. Everyday guys and your average millionaire, billionaire, billionaires maybe not an everyday guy, but you know, average your average a millionaire and billionaire really can't afford teams of scientists to develop something like that, and teams of satellite engineers to develop satellites with the capability of performing implantation and satellites with the capabilities of um, having gamma radiation weapons and advanced imaging from space of the human body amongst other forms of imagery. These aren't the tools of every uh, average everyday guys, not your average millionaire and not your average billion billionaire either. So always use that to keep you grounded if people try to make you question your reality about parties involved and who's involved. There's I mean, ask yourself this, like I was saying in my room, how many satellite engineers do you know? One, I've never, in my 39 years of life, I've never met a satellite engineer in my life. Never met a guy who owns a satellite. So what kind of people have, act, one way you could catch some of these terrorists is who has access to satellite engineers? Who's been hiring satellite engineers? Who's been hiring physicists, advanced different forms of engineers? And that can help you figure out who are putting WMDs in space and these implantation weapons. Um, also, it can help narrow down suspects from suspects list. How many people have access to satellite engineers and advanced engineers and scientists? Advanced neuroengineers, neuroscientists. Those are some key people to look for as this technology involves neuroengineering, neuroscience, neuroanatomy, neurophysiology kind of thing, um, as well as physics and engineering. Those are some key uh, disciplines involved with this technology. Um, so how many people have access to that? And then how many people are buying materials, as I've said before? There are certain materials that may be involved with manufacturing these implantable devices and certain materials and um, uh, tools that are necessary to manufacture some of this stuff. Who's buying unique tools? Who's buying unique materials? Who's buying specific materials? Who's buying um, certain tools that you, for, for satellites that aren't typical? Who's a satellite engineer company but also buying other things that aren't typical of a satellite engineer company? Um, hmm. Who, what of your list of suspects as you narrow down who's buying um, um, certain construction tools as well as certain materials as well as certain satellite components and go components of other things. So that's one way to, you know, identify who some of these terrorists are, space terrorists putting WMDs in space and using them on disabled people for entertainment and abusing human life for entertainment and uh, attempting murder on innocent people for entertainment. Uh, for bets. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's actually lunatics murdering autistic guys for bets and for entertainment in, in the world around us. How are these monsters not behind bars? But that's one way to narrow down some of these guys. Let's wake up here.